Hello, I'm Abigail Richardson Schulte and I'm composer in residence for the HPO. I'm joined by our 2023-24 HPO Composer Fellow, Paul Kawabi. Hi, Paul. Now, when Paul applied for our program, he did something quite unique. He actually pitched us an idea for a piece. We heard his pitch and we knew exactly where to put it on our Remembrance Day concert. Paul, can you tell me a little bit about what inspired this piece? So, this piece is inspired by my family history in a general sense. I'm Japanese Canadian and my grandparents were interned during the Second World War. So, the piece isn't necessarily about that, but it's more about the lives that they lived after that experience. Um, because that experience isn't mine, so I didn't feel super comfortable retelling that. Uh, that didn't feel very authentic to me. So. The piece is definitely from my perspective, having known and observed all of these people throughout their lives, or throughout my life, not throughout all of theirs, but, um, and just seeing how it impacted them, and it kind of turned into almost uh, like a therapeutic or re a regenerative piece, where it's there's messages to various family members, not to them now, but my feelings towards them, and it's a very like empathetic experience trying to write this piece for a group of people that I care deeply about. Mm -hmm. that, that's fascinating. Um, now, is the piece really dark then, since you're looking back at, at World War II and this terrible situation? Um, not really. It's um, obviously it was a terrible thing that happened, but having known my like my family members, it's not as if their lives ended when the internment camps they, like ended or started, like they lived full lives after that. And so it's a very hopeful and restorative piece. And there's obviously grief is a large element of it, but it's very much a piece that looks forward rather than dwelling on the past because um, it's just, that's, that's what you have to do. Like, you can acknowledge the terrible things that have happened, but um, I'm very inspired by my family who have like continued to live full lives and like full joyful lives despite that. Beautiful. Thank you for sharing your story with us. We hope to see you on November 11th for the premiere of your piece. 7,000 Paper Cranes. See you there.